Hi, I'm Leslie Kalarchian, and I'm at the Bishop Gallery in Brooklyn, New York. And on behalf of the Kalarchian family, I am proud to present an exhibit featuring a body of artwork from my grandfather, the late Yanov Derhagopian. Yanov was born in 1900 along the shores of Lake Van in Western Armenia. And in 1915, when that region was under siege by Ottoman forces, Yanov and his family fled toward Yerevan, which is the capital of Armenia. In 1923, he came to America and settled for several decades in Watertown, Massachusetts, where he found a large community of Armenian diaspora. Throughout Yanov's life, he explored several different mediums as an artist. He was a painter, he was a sculptor, he did metal work, he was also a singer. He recorded several albums that were collections of Armenian folk songs that he learned as a boy while traveling through Armenia with his father. About a year and a half ago, my parents decided to refinish the floors in their house. And so they pulled everything out of the closet and I started looking at all these paintings and I realized there was so much work that had been stored away for decades and it had gone unseen. The last exhibit that Yanov had was in 1967. That was his first and only posthumous exhibit. And through a series of fortunate events, I met up with a friend, Carlos Pinto, who is an art historian, and I told him this story about all, all of this amazing artwork in my parents' closet. He was fascinated and then embarked on this year and a half long journey of research. Carlos actually introduced me to the group at the Bishop Gallery, and before they had ever even seen the artwork, they were really fascinated by Yanov's story and, and felt that not only did the artwork deserve to be seen, but the story needed to be heard. Uh, the first time that I saw the work of this man, Yanov Terhagopian, um, I was intrigued by the period of life he was doing because America was losing in naivety. He, him innocence, transforming the country to a modern country. The industrialism represented in, in the work, uh, the influence of the big masters and the creation of the new American language of, of uh, form and art. That the reason uh, Gorky for me is, is the founder father of this in the relationship with this um, artist. He got nothing to do with Gorky's aesthetics but he, with Gorky, developed their own aesthetics. And that, that part of mix of cubism, mix of surrealism, mix of the influence of the big European masters and the total, totally an American form of art from an immigrant point of view is, is fascinating. Every time when I see a new work, the, he got different periods. And you can read him integration to, to the country, from the, being an, an Armenian in the United States to being an, an, an American in the development of the, the new visual language. Here at the Bishop Gallery, we primarily focus on helping to develop and grow emerging artists. And so to know someone who had lived, literally, um, May 24th will celebrate his 115th birthday, um, could still be considered emerging in some ways was very appetizing. Um, so we had agreed to do the show before we ever seen a single piece of Yanov's work. And lo and behold, when someone tells you they found dozens and dozens of paintings in a basement or in a closet, you don't expect you know, them to pull out Picassos or Vermeers or anything like that, right? You, you, you kind of temper your expectations. It did remind us of Picasso, and, and maybe not Verveer, but, you know, Matisse or a Cezanne or an abstract expressionist that, you know, are famous for their styles world over. And here it is, this a man, this survivor, this soldier 
was a contemporary of these folks. He was, he was not you know, someone who was just influenced, but he was creating and discovering and exploring things um, like the machine age, themes like cubism, themes like surrealism and abstract form and abstract expressionism before it had a name. Well, me personally, before I even saw the artwork, we wanted to display it. And that's the, you know, that's the honest truth. It's, it's not just the finished product. It's not just the painting. It's the passion behind it. It's the inspiration. It's where it comes from. It's where, you know, where, what was the artist thinking? You know, we can't necessarily capture that now because Yanov isn't here. However, his, it's interesting that we're trying to figure that out through his works. That's, the, that's, you know, another beauty of this whole project and this whole exhibition. Above all else, his work and his life is a part of history, is an important part of history, both Armenian history and American history. I told them the whole story of Yanovk being a survivor of the Armenian genocide and what happened to him here in America. And it's a very universal story. It's an immigrant story. And, and what's really wonderful about this exhibit is that you have artwork that are are uh, photographs of what he experienced a as a child, as a boy in Armenia. And then you also see the other side of it. You see him as an immigrant in New York. I'm an Im immigrant too, and, and this, uh, I feel resonance with this work because after being almost 20 years in the United States, for me, I feel an American now, you know, and I can try to, to speak with that language. These men, if you put a piece of this work in the contemporary form, in the street, in a mural in the street, even in graffiti, uh, he is perfectly integrated to that modernism. He came from a very rural village. There was farmland there, and now he's, he's a young man in America, and he's immersed in this art world, and he goes to art school in Boston, and he's, for the first time, studying formally drawing and painting. He's also studying and working with his friend Gorky. And there are uh, stories about them painting together in Watertown. They shared paints and canvases. And they actually, their friendship, it's well documented that their friendship uh, continued. And Yanov remained a close confidant of Gorky's. He was a children friend of Rachile Gorky, a um, good friend of John Hussein, uh, Saroyan, Hovenes. And he was in that fascinating part of the American history of the WPA. As he was an immigrant, he was a survivor of a genocide, and he was an artist who now come to our hands, and we have the opportunity to present back to the American contemporary history and see how ahead of him time he was thinking. Having someone in here that was, you know, first-hand account um, for such a historical event like the Armenian Genocide or the catastrophe, um, who then came to America and really was exploring themes and techniques that would end up becoming the first American school of art, abstract expressionism. And we're here in our gallery in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn, and we're able to get you know, the, the, the folks who are in the MoMA and in the Met at the Jacob Lawrence and at the Basquiat exhibitions, and they come here, and they can get the same quality, the same level of significance, and the same you know, feeling <laughs> that you get when you're in those places. To me, that's the icing on the cake. I, want, I just want people to learn. I want people to, to, to learn about Yanov and his plight and his story, because I, I truly believe it's an interesting story. You know, you have, a, again, a survivor, a painter, a sculptor, you have this, this all mixed up and one of these multi-talented person that, that just never got his story heard. And it's like, uh, this is a class, for me, it's a classic example of um, better late than never, because it would be, you know, it would be just unjust if he, his stuff never got to, you know, to this platform and his plat plateau, so hopefully we could take it even higher after this. Uh, to, to see these paintings finally on the wall is so amazing because they, they literally now are in a different light. And it, it's, it's, it's bigger than I ever imagined it to be. And I really hope that the people that 
that that come out to see the show will have the same feeling that that I do when they when they look at the scope of Yanov's work. It's 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 an amazing story.